Welcome to Strata. I'm Glenn. And I'm Brandon. Welcome to the Minds on Muscle podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Minds on Muscle podcast. My name is Brandon, and I'm here with my great friend. My name is Glenn. This is Glenn. And I have decided that I'm going to hijack this episode, and we're going to talk about something completely different today, and I am fired up. What are we going to talk about, Glenn? We're talking about fitness pro mentors, Brandon. I'm very excited. I think this is a fantastic endeavor. Most people who are listening right now might have an idea of what's coming. Most people will have no idea what's coming. So it's time to enlighten everybody about fitness pro mentors. So everyone, listen, I, uh, I mean, you guys have heard me talk for a while through this podcast. Glenn and I have talked a lot about exercise education, and we've, we've talked, a lot of, talked a lot about different concepts as it relates to exercisers and things you can do at home, and then personal trainers, how you can improve your quality of practice and biomechanics. But one thing that has always been very passionate to me that I have spent time with Glenn and everyone that works here and many people internationally is how do you grow a personal training practice? How do you, as a one-on-one service provider, recognize that you are an entrepreneur, whether you want to be or not, and you subconscious or not have systems in place to help grow your business. And I get fired up about this because I see way too many personal trainers over the last 15 years of my career who are superstar technicians and do not have or do not spend time building their business systems. So Fitness Pro Mentors is my giving back to the community. For anyone who's a personal trainer who wants to grow their career, it is a group mentorship and one-on-one mentorship to help you as personal trainers build your practice. And ultimately, we believe that if you follow our systems and processes that we're going to put in place through Fitness Pro Mentors, that you can two or even three times your in-person clientele. I am super excited about this. Honestly, I've been working on these systems ever since I opened Strata, frankly, even before that. But it's been really amazing seeing people like Glenn and Taylor and many other people here at Strata employ different parts of these systems and have their career, have their practice and their quality of practice blow up. It just gets me super excited. There is, (laughs) there's nothing more frustrating than hard truth. And I know I went through this and I imagine a lot of people who are watching this either are thinking about going off on their own or they've already gone on their own. They've discovered this for themselves. And that is they work at a big box gym and there's a lot of new clients going in that gym, a lot of new people walking through the doors. And just by the sheer volume of new people coming through the doors, you can land yourself a couple consults or assessments or whatever you call it in your process. And you manage to get up to 20, 25, 30, maybe up to 40 hours a week. And then you say to yourself, you know what? I've got all these great clients This gym is taking a large percentage of my potential income over half in a lot of cases. It's time for me to jump ship, go do my own thing, rent out space at a gym, train my own clients, make these clients who are at this big box gym, now my clients. And so you go off, you do that. I know I did that. And you learn a harsh reality, which is over the course of the six to seven months, some of those clients drop off, your business begins to atrophy. And the end result is you're not making as much money as you were before. And you start panicking and struggling because you actually don't really have a system in place to bring clients into your fold, to keep the current clients that you have happy and moving forward, or to increase your rates to offset any clients that you have lost and you just get frustrated. And then you end up going back to another big box gym because you just don't have a system in place to help your business thrive and grow. And so I know I went through that. I know people watching this right now have probably gone through that or they're thinking about going off on their own. And this is maybe the first time they're hearing of this conundrum, but I'll tell you, it's a doozy. And, you know, when things in your career are going well, life seems really good because your business is what you spend a lot of your time on and thinking about. And if for whatever reason it's not going well, like you're losing clients or your income's dropping, especially at a time where people are struggling, like right now, we're, you know, still kind of finding our way through COVID a little bit. Uh, it can be really disheartening. And so Fitness Pro Mentors is going to show you how you can grow your business, how to find clients if that's an issue for you, how to integrate them into your practice, your system, how to um, make them stay there, and then um, how to continue training them in the way that it's going to be fulfilling for you and for them so they get towards their goals. I'm really excited for, for Fitness Pro Mentors, Brandon. So Kevin O'Leary, who is one of the Dragon's Den and Shark's Tank guy, and he has some facetious things he says, but he said one thing that really resonated with me and it does hold true. And it's that if your business isn't growing, it's dying. 
And this is one thing I've seen happen with a lot of trainers is that exactly the conundrum that Glenn alluded to. And I've seen people in this own, in Strata, actually start to go down this journey that they are exactly, as you said, a big box trainer. And this is where a lot of trainers start, right? In fact, I think it's almost impossible to not start in a big box gym and have a full clientele, but they're a big box trainer and they have had a salesperson selling their clients in most cases for them. And like Glenn said, you are getting a third of the rate. So if it's $60, you're getting paid $20 of that $60 if you're lucky. And that sounds great. But in reality, you're not actually working full eight hour client days, right? You're not actually getting $20 for eight hours. You're actually getting a couple hours here and a couple hours there, which makes you're getting basically a minimum wage, which is really tough. And then if you're bold enough, which is terrifying, you quit that gym and you manage to have a conversation with all those clients and you take them to an independent studio. You're on your own. And all of a sudden you're a personal training nomad. You are doing your own thing and you're building your own brand and you're stumbling your way through it. I know I did that. I started a website called Strata Biomechanics thinking, hey, I started a website. I got a name. My name's attached to this thing. This is going to be great. And what happens? You don't realize the value of the brand the environment, the systems that the previous place had. People showed up at the gym that I was working at because they loved that gym. They didn't know who I was. They didn't care about who I was. It wasn't about Brandon or Strata Biomechanics. It was about that gym. And within that gym, they had an upsell process that allowed people to transition from a gym member to a training client. And I got a lot of amazing training clients that way that are still relationships now, but not many stay. I don't have the skills at that time to be a good salesperson. I don't have client retention strategies. I don't have any systems in place. And like Glenn, people started leaving. And so this is where I had to reevaluate things because I don't know if you've ever went through this and this is one of my more embarrassing moments. I remember working at another gym and I was walking on the treadmill with my wife and I said, I think I'm going to become a real estate agent on the side. She goes, why? I said, honestly, so I can make enough money so I can still be working as a personal trainer. And she said, well, why don't you just change what you're doing? Why don't you start charging more and work a little bit harder? And it was one of those like, oh my God, I almost took another career so I could keep doing this career. And in reality, you don't need to do that. I don't do this. Glenn doesn't do this. Taylor doesn't do this. Chris doesn't do this. Many other people don't do this. What you do need to focus on, and without even getting any particular systems, is you need to stop focusing on all these amazing exercises and exercise science and biomechanics. Don't give them up. You need to focus on those things still, but don't go down the certification rabbit hole. Don't focus on just studying squats because a lot of trainers I know have spent hundreds of hours studying mechanics. They have not spent a parallel amount of time studying business. And without that sounding artificial and cold, you do need the mechanics of business systems so you can dispense your exercise. And if you don't have systems in place so you can operate your business, it doesn't matter how great your exercises are. It doesn't matter how many amazing people you can work with. It doesn't even matter if you can help the most sensitive diseased person who's allowed to exercise and they could get better with this system. You need to be able to convey that information and have that person go through a process so they understand it fundamentally and you understand them. Yeah, it's The way I look at it is almost like a, a wheel on a bicycle. And a wheel on a bicycle has all these different spokes and all these different suppo- uh, spokes support the tire. Now imagine if some of the spokes were missing, uh, what would happen? The tire would lose its integrity. You'd blow a flat. You wouldn't really get anywhere. As a personal trainer or an exercise professional, however you look and frame yourself to the people that you want to work with, you actually do have to be a Jack or a Jill of all trades. You really have to know a little bit of marketing. Uh, you have to know the technical aspect of how to work with people. You have to be able to be creative. You have to have a level of self-mastery. You have to have a level of communication and business acumen. And if you don't have all these things in some regard, you're only going to get so far. And it's fine if you want to work. And listen, there's nothing wrong with working at a big box gym. I think that's wonderfully to help people. And that's great. But if you want to work on your own and you want to grow, you really have to have some level of mastery in all these different areas. And in Fitness Pro Mentors, I mean, that is what Brandon is going to be sharing and leading. That's what I'm going to be helping you with is educating you and supporting you on what do you need in order to become the best trainer in the world. You might actually have great business acumen. You actually might have amazing communication skills, but maybe you need help on the technical end. Maybe you need help on one of these other spokes to help your wheel be nice and stable so you can get to where you want to go in the most optimal way possible. 
You know, it, you're such a great, it's such a great analogy with the spokes. And if I were to piggyback off of that, one of the analogies that I've used a lot when I've talked to people about joining this program is what I call the iPhone analogy. Nowadays, we all have a smartphone. And I want you to think about your smartphone and what are the key apps that you use every day? Messaging, Facebook, email, Instagram, YouTube, whatever it is. But let's just say it's those five things. There are many phones that you can purchase right now that are ridiculously amazing at one thing, right? Huawei has got all this amazing camera and video technology integrated in their phone, arguably the best camera and video system and zoom and capabilities possible, but that integration doesn't work seamlessly with other systems. Their YouTube and Facebook and social media integration is not super great. So you get this phone and it's a sharp knife one direction, but the other apps are inefficient and clunky and don't do what you want them to do. This is where I like iPhones and Samsungs and all these other mainstream phones because they have each app. Each app is its own individual application and it's been optimized to be as efficient and as smooth as possible. So if we think about different skills as a personal trainer, each one of these skills, your exercise, your communication skills, your systems, uh, your mastery, if you review and practice drills, reassessing the product and your creativity, those are each individual apps. And if you have one awesome app like I did and like Glenn did, awesome. That means that you're bottlenecking with another app. And if we can focus on that one app in a simple, streamlined way, you're going to be better. And if you get all those apps working snappy together, the phone is quick and operates efficiently and is consistent to the same product every single time you enter into a new sales meeting in a new technical session, that product resells itself every time. And this is just like you. This is why I get so fired up about this is because if you're an awesome technician, but you're a terrible communicator, it's difficult because you don't have the words to let the client know why you're doing the exercise, finding out why the client's really there and asking the right questions to make sure you're going the right direction. Vice versa, if you're an incredible communicator, but you don't have the exercises to dispense, you can get all this amazing information, but you don't necessarily know how to deal with that individual and you lack getting results. Each one of those things play together. And if you're awesome at both of those, and you can consistently provide the experience high quality for both of those day one and seven, eight, nine years later, you're going to do great. I just got a message from a client yesterday. She pulled a receipt from me. She goes, wow, we've been working together for nine years. And for nine years, I've raised my rates with her. I've increased my quality of experience. And I consistently, just by presenting myself in a professional, communicative, and technical manner, resell that relationship. And that's what your phone does. Have you ever had a phone? and it just doesn't do what you want it to do anymore, what do you do? Upgrade. Have you ever had a client that doesn't call you back anymore? And then you see them online somewhere at someone else's training gym. What did they do? Upgrade. So here's the thing. How can you look at your own skill set and focus on practicing for the gig so that way your client the gig, you are doing everything you can to optimize them. And so this is what my real goal is with Fitness Pro Mentors is to make your system, your specific business, your marketing stream, your communication streams, understanding target audience and KPIs, make it as simple as possible or as complex as possible. But in reality, create a roadmap for success. I can't tell you how much simplicity and how far that goes in your business uh, and how helpful that is. And I think, I mean, you know me, I Brandon and I have been uh, working together and I've been consulting with Brandon a little bit such that I want to pick his brain a little bit. And one of the things that was so frustrating for me was the marketing piece and finding people. And I know right now it's, it's, I mean, my, my ability to find people has definitely skyrocketed, but even up to like four or five months ago, I was trying to do social media posts. I was trying to do YouTube videos. I was doing strata quick tips. I was trying to talk to people. I've been doing this podcast with Brandon. I tried blogging and I found that I was just doing 10, 15, 20 hours sometimes of marketing per week and really not knowing what was going to stick and what wasn't going to stick. And it was all very frustrating. Part of this course and being a part of the Fitness Pro Mentors group is trying to figure out what's going to work best for you and your particular temperament, your personality, your business, who you want to be out in the world. And I can't tell you how much relief there is. Now, that's not saying you don't have to do some work. It's not going to be uncomfortable sometimes because when you grow, there has to be periods of, of discomfort, but it doesn't have to be painful. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. And that's part of what the Fitness Pro Mentors course does is it simplifies things for you such that it makes them digestible and gives you the actual behaviors that you have to learn how to manage in order to create the business that you want. 
And this is all, I would say, fitness pro mentors, because if you guys, here's one of the big things I've been nervous about. I've wanted to do this exact business and this process for a long time, but I've been nervous because the online education coaching market is saturated. But I was reviewing one of my favorite quotes by Earl Nightingale, talking about whatever direction everyone else is going, go the complete opposite direction. And if you go online right now, if you wanted to become an online coach, or you wanted to open a group exercise gym, there is no shortage of coaching, mentorship, group exercise style, online education programs for exactly that. No shortage. In fact, through my process of learning how to operate this business, I have come across probably 100 in the last 10 days. It's mind-blowing. The number of mentorship programs that focus on building an in-person professional practice, almost none. And that's what our focus is, is that in reality, no matter what, Having a human in front of you for data collection, information collecting, communication, it is the best way to get the most information. You cannot solve a crime scene by looking at five crime scenes at once through a lens. You cannot solve a crime scene by looking through a lens, period. You have to get into the crime scene, evaluate the data, and get the most information. So our goal, really, my biggest frustration is I don't want you to leave the industry I don't want you to become a group exercise instructor. I don't want you to transfer it online because you think it's the only way for you to make money. You can go that way if you love it. But in reality, my goal is if you love helping people with exercise with one-on-one -on -one services and you believe that you can make over $100,000 a year, but you just don't know how to get there, I want to show you exactly how to do it. I want to show you the steps that I've taken with my personal practice the steps I've taken within my business to help people like Glenn and Taylor. I mean, Glenn and Taylor and everyone else that's a part of this program, they're already superstars, but most people, including myself, get bottlenecked at one thing or two things. Glenn, trying to figure out marketing, figures out marketing, does too much of it, gets overwhelmed. Hmm. Can any of you relate? So here's the thing. How can we take what Glenn's talking about and make it as simple as possible so you don't feel burnt out? You know exactly what you need to be doing each week. You have key performance indicators each month that help you reach that point. And you have someone like Glenn helping you through this. So what does this program look like? I'm going to tell you really quickly. It is a 12-week program. It is a group mentorship led by me. Each week, we have one of 12 topics that actually help you focus on your business. There is a course module in the back end that gives you more academic references and paperwork. And the part I'm super excited about, which is all I'm going to say about the program, we'll talk about other stuff in a minute, is you get assigned a one-on-one -on -one coach like Glenn or Taylor or someone else, more coming soon, who will help guide you through the program. So there'll be a group leadership, but you do get that individualized support, someone who will actually help guide you, specifically give you markers to help you succeed each week and for someone to be accountable to. To piggyback off of that, and I've heard people say this in the past, and for a time I didn't have somebody, I believe having a mentor, a leader, or a guider is pivotal for success. And it's maybe not the information from that person that you need in some cases, but the accountability. And without that sounding like the cheesiest soundbite in the world, I went for a few years without someone that I looked up to. And through this process, I've hired someone to hold me accountable. And this person is not someone that I look at, look up to for all facets of life, but is a superstar weapon in one direction, which helps me learn more in that direction. So if you're someone who's frustrated in your career and you want to grow your one-on-one -on -one personal practice, Fitness Pro Mentors is going to be the resource for you. Now, all of this is built on five pillars that Brandon has created and come up with, which are the center of his business. Brandon, could you tell us a little bit more about said pillars and maybe educate the people listening or watching about how everything filters into those? So first and foremost, if you want to hear more about this and everything else we're going to say for the rest of this episode, I would urge you to first and foremost, and I'll say this again at the end of the episode, join our private Facebook group, Fitness Pro Mentors dash Strata Biomechanics. Look up either one of those two things and it will show up in our private Facebook group. And you'll see that image that's behind us here. And there's a few questions up front. Please fill them out. And anyone who joins, you are eligible for a free coaching call with me to get started and talk a little bit about where your business is bottlenecking. There are two really key things that are important to me that I like to talk about. There's the five pillars of personal training, and then there is your fist system. Now, the five pillars of personal training are actually not your system. It's actually more of a focus guide. Because one thing that I found is that most trainers will focus on one pillar, focus on boxing, will focus on squats, will focus on 
marketing social media. But in reality, we do need to become this multifaceted iPhone that has all these different apps that are working together. These five apps though that we're gonna talk about in reality need to be customized to your target audience and who's in front of you right now. So this helps a ton because for me, I teach a course called post-activation potentiation, right? It's a big mouthful, da 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 But that course is fantastic for people like Glenn and I with clients who are struggling with pain. That course might not be fantastic for someone who's starting off in their career. So what that means is that the PAP course is actually a technical course, first pillar, technical course, that is fantastic for someone with that specific audience that needs help with contractions and motor control. Many people spend way too much focusing time focusing on the technical component. You do need to focus on the technical component, but the technical component needs to be customized to who's in front of you. So you got clients with hip replacements, focus on hip replacement anatomy and the muscles. You got clients with motor control problems, study that. You need to focus on that. And technical is diseases, anatomy, physics, everything that comes down to the human body and the physics you're putting onto them. Second is communication. And I really do believe communication should be a standalone system because for me, communication skills have actually brought me career opportunities outside of the fitness industry just by being able to communicate clearly and concisely. Communication will help you convey information, customize your information to the individual, and frankly, help you get more information from that person in front of you so you can figure out the best thing for that client. Business cheesy soundbite name. You got to work on your business, but you have to work on your systems. You need systems and what gets measured gets managed. And so if you're tracking each month, Hey, I got 10 new people that signed up. I had uh, eight people that stayed for more than a month and I had two people leave. Those numbers tell you a lot. Wait, 20% of your people left and 80% people stayed. So you're doing something right. But what was it about that 20% that left? All that is very important. You need to know those numbers because you've got to be able to manage them. And that works great for social media. Do you have targets each month? For me, I have a specific amount of quick tip videos I try to produce for both Strata and Brandon. I have a, anyway, those systems are very important. The fourth one is a pillar that most people do not talk about and it is creativity. And I do believe creative intelligence and being able to organize things in different ways is one of the most powerful things you can learn in the gym. When you look at a squat, going back to technical, everyone thinks of it as a pre-choreographed thing. You do this with your knees, you put your bar on this on your back, your hands go in this position, your knees don't go to over top of your toes, all that stuff. That's great. But in reality, the squat is made up of a bunch of different joint positions and a lot of different mechanics and different profiles. And that bar is a very specific implement. How creative can you be with that scenario? And can you make a leg press feel like a squat? Can you customize a squat for someone who's got a knee problem? That creativity that comes from art transfers to exercise in such a huge way with marketing, communication, business. It is very powerful. And the fifth one is a pillar, but it's no real substance to it. In reality, it is review and mastery. You have to review the game tape. You have to see what's working. You got to check your metrics. You got to check in with your target audience. You got to figure out who your target audience is and figure out, can you change review your communication message? So that way it's meeting that target audience. You got to do review. So these five things I think are great hats to put on because if you can focus on these each month, it gives you a very specific study and education channel to improve your business. You have to see yourself as an entrepreneur. You have to, uh, you are your brand and whether you want to work for yourself or whether you're completely happy working for someone else and doing things you know, your way underneath their name, that's fine too. But people are going to resonate with you as a human being. And if you're not seeing yourself as an entrepreneur, responsible for your own growth, getting your own clients, your own mastery, your own creativity, your own technical skills, your own communication skills, you're leaving something on the table. And oftentimes, even if there's one thing you're leaving on the table, the entire system and the entire foundation can come crumbling down. You really have to feel comfortable tackling all these things. And of all these different five pillars that Brandon's talking about, we're all going to gravitate towards some of them more than others. And I think a large amount of us are always going to be gravita gravitating towards technical because it's very easy to, not easy to learn per se, but it's attractive. It's attractive. Yeah. You find that information, you can learn it, you can readily apply it. However, learning the communication piece or the business piece, that can be overwhelming. I know it was for me initially to begin with, but it really is one of those things where once you really get a grasp on all these different pillars and you get a good feel for your system, it becomes very seamless. 
and it becomes, I don't know if we've talked about this yet, almost automatic. Like, you know what you have to do, you know what you have to take care of, you know what there is for you to learn, what there is for you to execute on. And it actually does take away at a certain point, the amount of cognitive thinking and brain power you have to develop you have to put towards your business because you already know where you have to go and what you have to do that day, right? The more of your brain power you can save because you've got a system in place, the more you can devote it to the learning process, to giving yourself, to your clients, to your best ability, and to your friends and family and relationships outside of your business. Because as much as we're talking about business and growing yourself as a professional, one of the reasons you're doing this and you love working with people is because it actually also pays you so you can do all the other stuff that you want to. I really don't know anybody who's in the field of fitness and health or is an exercise professional who's saying, I'm just doing it for the money. I'm just doing it for the money. Cause that's really not why they're doing it. They're doing it because they love it and they don't want to give it up. Just like you speaking to your wife on the treadmill, talking about becoming a real estate agent or a broker. You don't want to give up the thing that you love doing. You need to put some time and some of your energy and some of your resources into learning about yourself and learning about your business and working some different systems so that you can continue doing all the stuff that you want to, just like how your clients come see you to improve their well-being so they keep doing all the stuff that they want to and feel good about themselves. We want you to feel good about yourself and your business as well. I mean, think of it. I love that, right? And there's one thing that I want to say to attach to that is that, you know, Glenn's talking about creating systems, right? If you don't have systems, but you're a hard worker, you'll get far. Mm -hmm. If you have systems, you'll get further than the person doing hard work. But if you do hard work with systems, it's an unbeatable equation, especially if you consistently review those things. If you think about investments, right? If I told you that you could invest, let's pick a random number. You can invest, and this number, don't anchor this to the program. This is not a part of it. Say you could invest $25,000 right now. And in five years, you'll have $500,000. That seems like a no-brainer to me. How about you? No, I got it. It's a huge ROI. Right? So think of it this way. If you think about taking some money and investing it into the time, right? How much time does it take to work on your business system? Well, if you devote 10 hours each week and it's 100 bucks and that's 1,000 bucks each week and then 4,000 bucks a month and you make sure you commit that time, that money equation of time each month to not making money time, but money later time and you keep working towards that and you do that for four months, right? That is $16,000 of your time you invested, but that time will be paying massive dividends in the future. And if you think of it in that exact same equation, that's what it is. It's a transfer of time, which you put a monetary value on your time and you got to put that work in. And if you do the skills now and you build the systems now, you will be much further ahead in one year, two years, five years, 10 years than you could possibly imagine. But what do people do with that $25,000? You put it into mutual funds, you buy a toy with it, you put it towards, I mean, a house is a great investment, right? A lot of people will put that money in a place that doesn't pay a lot of ROI. So what we're talking about building are skills to help build that ROI. Amen. Amen, Brandon. So there's one last thing I want to talk about here, and there's an entire video talking about it. The real system that we use is something that I'm happy to continue to talk about because you can take this system and you can do what you can with it right now. But once you identify each piece, it goes a lot further. And it's the FIST system, the FIST formula. And it's our version of a funnel. And I don't like talking about funnels because there's so much marketing around. You need a funnel. But in reality, if your business has a funnel, right? There is some way that people are finding you and it's going down to this integration process. So first, one F, find. People need to find you. And organic marketing, there are some great organic marketing strategies that do work. And there are some organic marketing stuff that does not work nearly as much. And there are parts of marketing that 20% of that will bring amazing results. And there's 80% of marketing strategies that just won't bring anything too crazy, but will optimize the 20%. So we need to figure out one, how are people finding you and how can we work on that double down on what's working? Second, I integrate. Our process talks about building an introductory sales process and assessment process. So that way you can integrate people into your world. You do need a sales process to learn why people are there to talk about money and then talk about assessment process. We have a very preliminary one and we can make recommendations for more extensive assessment processes. From there, we got to talk about once they're in your world, how people stay in your world. S, we got to figure out retention strategies, non-manipulative client-centric ways so people are happy to be in your world and want to be there. And we don't accidentally choke the puppy, the placeholder puppy. We want to make sure people feel free to move around, but we are their exercise personal training consultant. And the last one, the T, this is also people can continue training because otherwise, if you're not doing it, people are going to do one of three things. They're going to try and do it on their own and they might do great. They might get injured. 
they're going to fire you and find another trainer who does what they want them to do, or they're going to stop exercising. And two of those three options are not very good. Not good for you. And it's not good for the client. We want people to be strong and healthy best as they possibly can. So this is all about that building the systems so you can continue to help people for their entire life. And like I say at Strata, I like to think so people can exercise pain-free. If this is the first time you've, you're listening to the podcast or you've seen Brandon and I or heard our voices, just in case it wasn't abundantly clear, even though I think it was, just in case it wasn't abundantly clear during this podcast, we are big believers in having everybody win. As far as we're concerned, we don't want our clients ever feel like they're being taken advantage of, like they have to be in our schedules, or we don't want to sell to people and make them think that they're, uh, they have to be with us or that it's a hard sell. Everything we do is about making it a win-win for you, making it a win for your client in such a way that everybody feels really good about all the decisions being made. There's nothing that feels ickier than you taking a client on, even though you don't really like them or something about them rubs you the wrong way, or there's someone in your system who you really want to see anymore, but you're just collecting money because you need that paycheck. That feels so icky. This system is going to help you and the client get to where you want to go, both of you, such that you're loving the process together. And I really do mean that, like really loving the process. I really think that if you aim to be a high ticket personal trainer with an ethical practice, Mm. it's a tough road for the first little bit. But what ends up happening is if you're an expensive trainer, let's say your market, $60 $60 is the average price point and you're $100 an hour. What's going to start happening is in your suburban market with a low entry point, you're going to have a lot of people who can't afford you, but you're going to get a small group of people who can't afford you. And those small group of people probably hang out with people or know people or will recommend people who can afford you. And over time, you get the snowball effect of where all of your clients are people who can afford that higher price point and are happy to be there. And the stress of spending higher price point each week, twice a week, three times a week, once a month, whatever it is, doesn't stress them out. And money is not a fear or concern because that's a really big thing for people. And then you get to help people who really want to be helped. It's not about pushy sales. It's not about forcing anything. This all comes down to the client, which is why I keep saying client centric. So fitness pro mentors, I'm really excited for it. This, we call it a program. How would you describe it, Brandon? This is a mentorship. This is a one-on-one and group mentorship. This is, this is why, and this is why this guy's the head honcho. This mentorship program, I know. (laughs) This program, if you're an exercise professional and you want to spread your wings and take off on your own, or you've already done that and you're struggling a little bit and you really want to fine tune your process and get some tailored help for it, this is the program for you. I can't stress that enough. So to wrap up this episode, I'm throwing them off here on purpose. What's your pick of the week, Glenn? I knew we were going to do a pick Ah. of the week and I have one (laughs) selected. So my pick of the week is actually going to be a very small piece of one of the things that we're going to talk about, and that's going to be questions. We are really big on questions and not just, you know, when you're talking to your clients about like how, Hey, how'd that set feel? I'm talking about when you're out there trying to find people to enter your system or when you're assessing questions are one of the best ways to find information. And you'll learn this in a part of the fist system, but when you're doing some sort of consultation with people like we do here, we're always asking questions and we're really trying to aim to have the client do most of the talking 70 to 80% of the talking, in fact, and we're asking questions. And we're always asking questions to try to find out more about them, their motivations for being there, what makes them tick, what they want to get out of training so we can learn about how to deliver that to them to the best and make sure it's a good fit for them. We're going to be sharing a whole bunch of different techniques and techniques are not a bad thing, by the way. Techniques are just ways. Strategies. We're going to teach strategies. Strategies. Okay. Well, we're going to teach strategies. And one of the strategies that we do use is we just ask questions. And even when a client asks us a question like, hey, how much do you cost? We're going to talk to them and ask them why they want to know about the cost. We're going to get more information. And now we're not going to hide information that they want to know. We're going to eventually tell them the cost. I mean, they've got to know if they're going to invest in the service, but questions are super important and learning how to ask the right questions in a way that the client gives you the information that you want. And so the client feels comfortable giving you that information is of paramount whenever you're trying to integrate people into your system or when you're trying to find people that you can help service. So, My pick of the week, Brandon, 
is questions. So Sandler Sales, he's got a great book. You can't teach a kid to ride a bike in a seminar. He talks about stroke reverse nurture, which mm. is exactly what Glenn was just alluding to. And so a really simple example of asking a question and then stroking, reversing nurture, which is a part of our program. If we're just talking about Sandler's information is, hey, how much do you cost, right? Stroke, that's a great question. Nurture, I can see why you might ask something like that. Reverse, is cost a determining factor for you? Right. It creates a really smooth, easy way to ask that question. Hey, that's a great question. I understand why you're asking. That's a very important question. Is cost a determining factor for you? This creates a nice acknowledgement as to what they're saying. And then you ask another question to find out where that person's position is to find out where they're going. Because they can either say, no, I'm just curious or yeah, actually I am. I'm on a budget. And both of those warrant a new line of questioning and a slightly different direction. So Sandler has got some amazing sales books that you can buy on Amazon packed with information. This particular technique is stroke reverse nurture. I love it. Thank you for bringing that up. You're welcome, Brandon. You know, I got to throw it back to you. Pick of the week, what you got? I'm going to pick the most sanctimonious and egocentric thing I possibly can. I'm going to pick Fitness Pro Mentors private Facebook group and free mini course. So what I want you to do is if you've listened to this entire episode, I said it in the middle and I'll say it again. As a part of this program, what I want to do is I want to give you as much information as possible. I believe that if I can give you a bunch of free information over and over again, that even if you don't decide to participate in our program, the free information will help to enhance your business. So what I want you to do is go to Facebook, look up groups, Fitness Pro Mentors. You'll see that picture right back there, the white Stratocentric logo. Ah, and from there, there are two things in there as far as resources, three actually. There is a mini course, uh, three section mini course with an introduction from me with some of the information that Glenn and I talked about. So you can work on some business strategies right away, determining your own value, talking about marketing strategies and building your own fist formula. And then every Friday between myself, Taylor or Glenn or any of the other coaches that will be coming on, we're gonna be offering small 21 minute free mini trainings at different times, which we'll announce throughout the week. So please join. There are questions up front. And so the third thing that I offer is a free coaching call with me and eventually Glenn or Taylor. So if you guys have any questions and or concerns about the program, or you want to talk about your own personal practice, we'd love to give you some strategies and suggestions to see what will work to improve your practice. Everyone, thank you so much for listening to this. I'm super excited. Please share it. Tell your friends. Let's go. Everybody, if you do want to visit us, we do have a brick and mortar location in Newmarket, Leslie, just north of Davis Drive, and we're also found on the internet all over the place. You look up Strata Internal Performance. This podcast, you can watch it on YouTube. You can also listen Podbean, Spotify, and iTunes. We would love to hear what you're thinking. Please, again, like Brandon said, share it with people. Give us a five-star review if you loved it, or don't. Just let us know how we're doing. We would love to hear from you. Trainers, please join the community. I'd love to see you. I'd love to meet you. When you join the group, send me a message. I'll send you a voice note and I'd love to touch base with you guys. Everyone, thank you so much for this. I'm excited for this project. There's gonna be some cool stuff. And, and, and just in case you didn't know, we are starting a segment in this podcast called the Fit Biz section. You probably mm -hmm. will see one if you look back to making a professional. This is number two. And throughout the month, we're gonna pepper in one or two fitness business episodes. So if you see the Fit Biz in the corner, that is the business centric episodes. Check them out. You'll see them in the title on the podcast back end as well. Sprinkling knowledge bombs all over the place. Everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. We wish you a very awesome, wonderful day. Sprinkles, everyone loves candy. Talk to you soon. Ciao.